Hello and Happy New Year. My name is Janique Glenn and I am your nurse agent. And today I want to talk to all of my home sellers out there. If you're thinking about selling your home this year, then I got some good information for you. To get your home sold, you want to start off right so you can end right. So if you're interested in getting those tips and information, then stay tuned. All right, guys, let's admit, moving and selling your home, it can be a lot to just take on, right? Moving in itself is a lot, and then selling your home and trying to get to where you need to go, it can be a little bit stressful. That's to be understood. Now, to take some of that stress and worry away, we have to admit that if we prepare and if we start a process right, it kind of helps us to deal with those stressors. Anytime that you prepare yourself for a situation, you feel a little bit less stressed because you feel like you have trained or you have conditioned yourself to go through the process. Okay, so with home selling, we want to prepare ourselves. We want to be ready for our home to be on the market, to show its very best so that we can have an end result that we are happy with. So how do we do that? Let's get into some tips that can help you to get your home sold. First things first, declutter. Okay, guys, I understand. We accumulate a lot of stuff through the course of our lives. I mean, we get things here, things there, things gifted to us, things brought from past situations. We just have a lot of stuff, okay? But we have to declutter because our goal is to get our home sold. And we want to remove ourselves from the situation, from the home, so that others can see their self in the home. So the one way to do that is to declutter. Get rid of all the books and everything you got on the bookshelf, all of the little knickknacks that you have collected from all of the travels you've been, um, places you've seen. You just want to start to declutter. And one way to help you with that and to get organized is to just decide what you want to keep or save or what you want to throw away or sell or donate. And you can even start putting some items in storage and that will help you in the end so that you already have some of your items moved out. And also moving, the price of moving can add up too. So you won't be transferring things that you haven't used in years to your new home where you may not still use them. So you can get rid of that now. So go ahead and declutter. Decide what you want to throw away, what you want to save, what you want to sell or donate, or if you're going to keep it and just um, put it in storage. Decide what you want to do. And the sooner you can just start that process, it'll make it a little bit better for you. Also with that depersonalized. So I'm a big fan of having like family photos, pictures, and memories all around. So I totally get it. But now that it's time to move on, those memories you have to remember are always with you. So you can pack up those pictures and those photos, and that can be one of the first things you decide to unpack when you get to your new home. But in order for the buyer to see themselves there, they kind of don't want to see your memories or your pictures and all of the things staring them in the face as they're walking through your home. They want to visualize themselves there. So we want to help them so they can decide to buy the home so we can get our home sold. So let's go ahead and depersonalize and declutter. So also another good step is to deep clean. Now I don't mean just cleaning like a regular clean, I mean deep cleaning. So that's beyond our regular day to day. And I'm talking about anything from your windows to deep cleaning your carpets to cleaning those vents and um, just, just dusting, just your going above and beyond to get the light fixtures, the ceiling fans, really giving your home a good cleaning. And with that, we want to take care of any odors. Sometimes we don't realize that our homes have some sort of scent. I mean, not to say it's a bad scent or anything. It's just a scent like, you know, you don't realize it because you're in the home all the time. But you want to go ahead at this time, to, since your house is going to be coming on the market, 
to remove that. <laughs> so you want to open the windows and let some fresh air come in and you want to get some neutralizing smells, nothing to cover up or mask because sometimes that makes things worse. So you want to make it just be neutral, get you some windows open, let that air just flow through and then neutralize the air and let it, you know, just smell a fresh smell, a fresh scent. I even like the smell of just bleach or lemon or something fresh and it smells clean and that's that can do it too just a clean smell and also if you have um pets if you have pets around you know some people are allergic to pets and then some people are afraid of pets so you want to take your fur babies maybe for a day out maybe with family or friends and when i had um my little puppy we took him to Brown Dog Lodge, and that was a really nice place, y'all, to Brown Dog Lodge. And they took really good care of the puppy, and you could see him on camera and everything. So you can take your puppy or your little, little, little fur baby um, to the um, Brown Dog Lodge or a place like that uh, where they can stay overnight. And even when they he got ready to leave, they gave him real good grooming and bathed him, and he smelled so fresh and everything. So... It's just places where you can take them, um, at least for showing times. You might not want to leave them there the whole time, but for these times when you have showings, if you can't let them stay with family or friends. But you want to also remove all of your fur babies, like toys, all of their things, and clean up the fur and all of that so that it doesn't show like it's a pet in the home. Because some people are pet lovers and some aren't, so... You want to make sure that you um, have the home fresh and you remove all of their things, at least for the showings, and make it look nice. Okay, so that's part of your deep cleaning. And um, another good step for you to do when you're selling your home is to make those small um, repairs or fixes. Now, sometimes we go to the house and we know that there are things that we need to do that we need, we, we kind of put it off and put it off and put it off and put it off okay so we need to get to those things like we need to get to them like now is the time to get to them when you like trying to sell your home you need to go and get to that so address those things um if you notice that there's some scuff marks or like i know on our banister the stairs you know sometimes it just the paint gets worn so you need to touch that up touch up the paint Touch up um, any little things that you notice around the house that you um, can do to make it better. Um, Doorknobs, light plates and stuff. Anything, little updates, anything that you know that needs to be addressed. And you should address those things that you know about ahead of time. And even sometimes I would recommend getting a pre-listing home inspection, which is another topic. But sometimes that can help you on the front end knowing what issues needs to be addressed and you can get those issues addressed especially if you have a home warranty you can get it addressed and that can kind of help you out um yeah because that will help you later on when the buyer gets their inspection there's no surprises or anything and you have already addressed the needs and it may make for a smoother process and us to go ahead and get to closing so you want to address those issues early anything that you know about Definitely also like anything like what electrical, roofing, those main ticket things that buyers are going to be very concerned about. Address those issues and address small issues. I mean, like you can also, another tip is like updating your kitchens and your bathrooms and, you know, basic things like paint, um, neutralizing the paint with colors that are very popular, which are your white, your neutral color. Uh, beige and then gray. Gray is kind of popular now. So if you can get those colors and just update a fresh coat of paint, paint makes a big difference. Your paint and your floors and just keeping your floors clean, that's going to make a big difference. And any updates with your kitchens and your bathrooms, of course, are going to make a big difference as well. And I would say, like I said, change those light bulbs. You don't want burnt out light bulbs, something so easy to fix. And then the buyer come in and they see that you didn't even change your light bulbs. So they like, mm, if they can't just change the light bulb, then maybe they didn't do other stuff as well. So you don't want to put no thoughts in people's mind because 
if they're walking around and they're seeing there's repairs to be done, they are deducting from your bottom line. It's just like, mm, okay, well, oh, oh, okay, all right, well, oh, that's wrong too. Okay, minus subtract. Okay, all right. What else? Oh, mm -mm. so we don't want that. We do not want all of that situation and them doing all that thinking. We want them to think about, oh, I can just see my furniture in here. I can see my pictures on the walls. You can, they you want them to be able to visualize themselves in the space with decorating the space, not repairing the space. So do those repairs that you know about, and that will save you time. It's going to save you money. It's going to help your bottom line. So go ahead and get those things worked on. Another important tip is to work on your curb appeal. Curb appeal is very important because when you come up to a property, you kind of begin to think, okay, if they outside is a hot mess, then the inside is likely to also be a hot mess. At least that's what they're going to think. You know, if you can't get the great first impression on the outside, sometimes they don't even want to go on the inside. So make that outside look nice. And, you know, depending on the time of year, if it's leaves, you know, you're going to, of course, get rid of your leaves. You're gonna have your grass mold and you're gonna do those edges and trim. Make your yard look nice. Trim those bushes, clean around your door, get rid of the spider webs, make sure your address can be seen. Um, sweep around your front door. Sweep around. Okay, yeah, sweep around your front door and um, just make sure it looks nice. Any areas need to be power washed, like your deck, you can go ahead and do that. And, um, just make your yard look nice. And if you got those fur babies, clean your yard. Don't let there be like a lot of feces and pet stuff all over the yard. And the virus can't even walk in the yard because they about to step on something. And then tidy up your yard. I've seen people with uh, the patio furniture out and, you know, there's a lot of it. So declutter a little bit outside too. I mean, you can get rid of some. You don't have to have so much but maybe make it look like a nice setting outside or an enjoyable outdoor living type area or make it look nice and tidy in your yard. The kids' toys kind of, you know, put them in their place um, and make it kind of look nice so that people can visualize them enjoying their yard space and not some other project that they also have to worry about or, you know, kind of like, uh, it seems like more of a headache than a relaxation space. So go ahead and also work on your curb appeal and your yard. That would help you out as well. Okay. And also another big thing is, of course, hiring a realtor. I know um, people kind of say, yeah, hiring a realtor. But hiring a realtor will also help you with negotiations. They're going to know how to um, market your home. They're going to know how to get you some professional pictures done. I can't tell you um, even before becoming an agent, or coming to realtor, um, seeing houses on the market and the pictures look a hot mess. I've been to homes where the pictures look horrible, horrible. And I get to the home and the home is beautiful, but you can't tell by the pictures. So at least in this, or if you have a quality realtor, your realtor can make sure you have professional photos. It helps to have a realtor who's knowledgeable and who knows how to market your property, who knows how to do the showings and knows how to get you the best offer and get you to closing so that you can get to where you want to be and not be on that expired list and you at the end of the time and you still ain't sold your home. So let's start right so we can end right. So if we do these tips, all of these things will help you and hiring a realtor will just help to facilitate and for you to have a seamless process, which you need to have somebody to help you because it's stressful enough. You know, if you got somebody in your corner that can help you, it's, it's definitely a benefit to you. Also, with your showings, you want to be flexible with your times of your showings. Sometimes um, there are clients or customers that want to um, be very tight on their times that they want to show their home. Uh, you can see it 12 to 1 this day, 
one to two, you know, very tight on different days and times. But being more flexible allows you to appeal to more of the masses and get more people through your door so that they can see the home. Now, of course, with the pandemic, we want to be safe. And if you have a good realtor, they can make sure that anybody come through that home is going to have to wear a mask. And they're going to have to have some hand sanitizer and some shoe coverings. And they're going to have to uh, make sure they wear it at all times because we want to be safe. We want to be respectful of the property and knowing that you are showing the home, but you may not be out of the home completely. And we all do want to be safe. I am your nurse realtor. I'm, you want to be safe. Okay. You want to also keep it tidy. <laughs> you don't want to have dishes in the sink. Get rid of them dishes in the sink, okay? Um, I know people open dishwashers too, <laughs> and they will open cabinets, they will open closets. So you want to have all of those areas tidy and clean. You want to make sure you, sometimes it also helps when I'm talking about closets to take out maybe half of the stuff you got in there at least so that people can see, you know, closets, storage space, that's kind of a big thing too. And then people want to have enough of that in their home. So with all your stuff, that go back to that decluttering is in there. They can't visualize their things in there. So we want to get rid of that. So also with the showing, it's just making sure that you keep your property nice and show ready. No dishes in the sink. And another thing, Hmm. Okay, another thing that I have noticed is in the bathrooms. In the bathrooms, I've seen pictures. Oh, yeah, no, that's okay. Pictures with people towels over their bathtub and seeing them in properties during showing times with the towel looking still wet, like you just got out or something. Like, and people don't want to visualize you in the bathtub. They need to, they don't even want to know you took a bath in the bathtub. Like, it's just, you know, mm -mm. so don't leave your towels and, you know, your rubber ducky and whatever else you're doing in the bathtub. Don't leave all of that in there. People want to visualize themselves being able to relax in the bathtub and to enjoy and all that. You want to create this experience for them, not your experience. Okay, so clear all of that out. Clear it all out. Even your toothbrushes. Um, you may not want to leave them out at these times anyway, but you don't want to, they don't want to visualize, you know, they want to see themselves as much as possible in the home. So go ahead and put your toothbrushes away. Clear off that counter. Make it look sparkly nice. Just imagine if you are the buyer. Try to see it through their eyes and what you would be looking for when you go see a home and how you would want it to look and what would turn you away as soon as you saw it. Make it look nice, show ready. Don't give them no other option to walk away. Ain't no other homes on the market. It's just show home, you know? So make it look nice and presentable. So they are like, oh yeah, I can see myself here. Make it look like that and you will be able to sell your home. So you guys, that's pretty much it that I have for you. I just want you to know that um, doing these things can definitely help you to get your home sold. Just make sure you make those repairs. Things like caulking around the tub, even those kind of things can help you to sell your home. And that is our goal. That is the goal to get it sold. And you don't want to give the potential buyers any other options. And when you come in strong and you have your home ready, prepared to sell, then that gives them a, you know, the feeling that they want to go and, you know, make your house a strong contender. Um, they won't want to go and look at other homes so much. They'll want yours. And you may have a competing situation where you can get multiple offers. You want to start off strong with that also goes your price. And that's a whole nother topic, but it's very important to price your property right in addition to doing these things because you don't want your home to sit on the market. Um, even though we're in a seller's market, we don't want to overprice it too much like where we just, you know, sitting there and um, buyers know they doing their research too. And we want to make it show ready. If we want to get top dollar, we want to price it right. We want it to show well. And we want to do those things that's going to allow us to be in that, to position ourselves to be um, one of those hot buy 
homes. Um, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Just wanted to give you some good information about helping you to get your home sold. So if that's the journey and that's your goal for 2021, let's go, let's get it. There is no stopping for 2021. Everything that you wanna accomplish, just, you know, take it one day at a time and just keep, try to stay positive. We're gonna stay up this year. And if you need help with any of your real estate goals, I'm here for you. I am your nurse agent. I will be glad to help you. All right, guys, if this information has been helpful to you, I would appreciate it if you would just go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell button so that you can be notified when I post new content. I thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more great information. I will be posting um, more videos to come and my goal, my goal is to produce content once a week. So I'm gonna try to stick to that goal and you guys take care. I appreciate you. Be safe, be well, be blessed. Bye-bye.